Hey survivors, welcome back to Stone Awareness and thank you guys for tuning in to this channel guys where we drink tea and talk about narcissists. So I'm still drinking Earl Grey um, black tea, I believe. I drink it because it's got caffeine and I definitely need it. But yeah, I'm going to jump right into the to topic about um, how narcissists communicate different from other people. Is it is weird, right? It's kind of annoying because you're getting these crazy long text messages and, you know, when a narcissist is on the road, you're going to get like paragraphs of messages after messages after messages. Anybody that knows, you know, deals with narcissists, you know, they know they're going to get those crazy messages. It's hard to read, hard to understand. It's just all these things going on. So, yeah, um, narcissists talk differently. You know, one thing that you'll notice is that their language it's like they're disguising their real intent, you know. So um, that's, you know, because you're dealing with, you know, two different people, you know. So the narcissist is, um, you know, basically telling on themselves. So I'll give you an example. Um, it's like they're, you, you kind of get, because you know the narcissist, right? You kind of get this feeling like, okay, they think I'm stupid. They'll basically tell you, um, you know, we need to work together. You know, we're co-parenting. We're raising our, our daughter. We need to work together. We need to be on the same page. And, you know, um, I don't have no problem with you. Um, you know, let's, um, you know, I, I just, you know, I, I just want us to, you know, I just want more time with her. I just want more time. you like, what do you need more time for? You already have time. You already have custody rights. You, I mean, what do you need more time for, you know? And it's disguising that they really want more time, you know, for, you know, lower amount of child support. They're not going to tell you that because they do think they're smarter than you, but it's always a, a gimmick or a game for them, you know. So they're going to beg for maybe your time that you have or uh, your weekend or say, well, just give me more time. I'm just concerned, Dad. I just want, I just don't like a kid going back and forth like they're above the, you know, the BS when they're not above the BS because they are the BS. You get what I'm saying? So their language what they want what they want from you is disguising you know it's disguised they're not going to actually ask you can i have custody of my kid or you know can i have um your weekend and all my weekends so i can go to you know child support court and just um pay no more than 20 or 30 dollars a month in child support that's what it's really about for them you know it's it's a game to get what they want they they try to, even though they tried to take custody of your child from you numerous times, lied on you, lied on your relatives, they expect you to help them, but they're gonna disguise their intention by just you know pushing all these emotions, and um, you know they're not straightforward and honest like most people. You know, like if someone talks to me and say, hey, you know, I feel as though you know um you could you know work on this and that or whatever, whatever, you know, they're, they're straightforward. You know what I'm saying? We have a straightforward conversation on how they feel. The narcissist is, um, they're disguising what they want by taking you in another direction. You Y'all know how that is. It's just like, okay, come on now. You know, what they want from you is not, it's not for a pure or wholehearted reason. You know, it's for a selfish reason. You know, narcissists are so selfish. The narcissist is thinking that, okay, you know, I need, I need this child support lowered. I, I need to get, I need it. I need it almost. I don't want her to get anything from me. I don't want her to get nothing. So they're like, Hey, you know, I, I really just want to spend more time. I don't like this people all up in our business downtown and the legal system. I just wanted to just be just me and you just figure this out. We, we don't never have to go to court again and stuff. And if you fall for that, you really are making a bad decision because they will stab you in the back. They'll stab you in the front. You know, they're letting you know, oh, everything should be good between me and you. We just, you know, we don't got to follow these paperwork, these orders. No, just, just, let's, let's just overlook this stuff. We're, we're above this. We don't need this. You know, it's, it's just me and you and the narcissist is thinking to, to themselves, please fall for this, please. Cause I'm going to go right down there and ask for a lower amount because you, you don't want time with your kid. You gave me all the time because you want to party on weekends and, and, you know, on the weekend and drink and date other guys. I'm going to, you know, paint this picture of you. Just please, please fall for this. I need, you know, I need this to work. So they're, you know, 
like putting all this pressure, all these long paragraphs. You get about four or five texts, but these things are like a, a whole paper, like just run on sentences. You know, narcissists are sloppy writers and you like, what the, you know what I'm saying? This is <laughs> who, what, what's going on? If somebody read a text message, they were like, wow, this is really, really a long, long text message. Like, you know, it's not even a text. You should just basically just email it. I mean, dang, <laughs> That's how they are. They they try to put pressure on you to force you to go with what they want you to do, but they're not going to tell you what their real intention is, which is really, really selfish in a, in a lot of ways. And it's a big setup. So you can never fall for um, their, their um, what they're wanting from you. You know, you can't never fall for it. You have to make sure you are um, in a place where you understand what's best for you and you have to do um you know anything that's you know anything legal yeah you got to follow that but um you know you got to do what's best for you don't let them put that pressure on you because that's um abusive you know they're um aggressive you know so they're aggressive through these communication they're trying to force you to do what they want you to do make it try to make you feel bad a lot of manipulative tactics you know um they're disguising their real intent and you just know it because you know them you know what they want all of us know what the narcissist want. You know, you know the narcissist usually wants custody of the kid so they can just um, throw them off on the new supply or their relatives and not pay you a dime. You know, they're selfish. So, um, you know, they'll basically play dumb. Like, they don't, you know, child support don't bother them. And they won't even, you know, it, none of that stuff bothers them. Play dumb. Like, it's not about anything to do with anything like that. You know, but they'll breadcrumb you in, in little you know, little ways, you know, little, little bread comes like, um, things that they're saying about you. They'll tell you, you know, in little bread crumb ways, like, you know, I, I don't mind, you know, our, our kid being with you, you know, on the weekends. I just know she, you know, she's in your house all the time, but you know, that's, that's okay. I, you know, I don't, I don't want to, I don't have no problem with you. We're, we're good. You know, everything is, you know, they don't have no issues with you, no problems, but you like, wait a minute, you do have a problem with me. We have problems. We have problems. That's why we went to court before. We have problems. You hate me because you lied on me. You, you you threw me out the house. You took my things away. What am I supposed to forget all of those things you did? So if you're telling me that you don't have problems with me, you're a liar. We do have problems. We have a lot of problems. But this is in their communication. They have to like gaslight you and, and reverse your way of thinking. So that's why you get those long, crazy, long, crazy texts. I've seen them all the time online when I'm looking in on, on Facebook groups. I'm like, wow, because those are the kind of texts I get to. <laughs> so um, it's basically, you know, disguised um, intentions, you know, and you have to read between the lines so they don't communicate like most people. Most people that send you a text message is straightforward. The narcissist is, is a, you know, is a con artist so um it's always a game of what they want to get from you they're thinking that okay i have to you know get inside her head if she you know i have to get her to do this and then i have to you know they're gonna you know they, they know how to dumb themselves down you know if they need to they know how to act like they don't know something or it's something they don't understand and, you know something legal oh i i didn't know that you know um, we had to communicate on talking parents. I, you know, I didn't know that, you know, I was supposed to communicate with you every day. You know, I, I, I can't get up there. It doesn't work. Or, you know, it's always all excuses or games they play. And it's all a manipulative tactic to get you, get your guards lowered and to, um, pull you down in the same boat with them and to get what they want. They just want to like getting over on people, you know, and a lot of people, um, have a lot of, you know, um, feelings about, you know, um, legal situations such as child support. A lot of people don't believe in the system. And, and then there's some people that understand that children do need to eat. They do need to be fed. They're going to go back and forth between two different homes. But one home is just going to be the home that primarily the kid goes to school f from, you know, so there's going to be, you know, actually more time. So there may be needing, you know, some monetary assistance, you know, and some people don't understand it. And some people do understand that, you know, so narcissists are selfish they're not going to want to pay a dime in a divorce um proceeding anything they want all of their money they want to win they want to come out on top so they um you know will try to play you like you're stupid you know like i mean it's just 
It's just ridiculous. You know who the narcissist is. You know how many times they tried to hurt you. You have to remember all this stuff now. Even write it now. All the things they did to you. They said about you. This is not somebody that can be trusted. This is not your friend. This is an enemy. You know, that's what the narcissist is. They are an enemy. And just for this person to act like everything's all good. And, you know, it's just past. And, uh, you know, the past is very important. The history that you have with the narcissist is very important. It shows you their true intent on who they are because they don't change. They're still the same person. They have not healed in the way where they're going to um, be any different than what they were in the past. They're still um, pretty much going to try to ruin you, try to get over on you, um, try to hurt you. And if they want your guards lower, if they're trying hard, that means you're doing something right because if they're you're getting those long text messages, they're frustrated. They're like, dang, something's different. You know, you're doing a good job. No contact, um, not being too emotional, falling into their game. So when you get those long, crazy texts, the narcissist is like, ah, oh, you know, I, I need you. You know, we need to work together. We need to figure this out. I, I don't like this. And, you know, they don't like no contact. It, it frustrates them because they're not getting supply from you. So they don't know what to, you know, they have to, you know, find other sources of supply. Force them. Force them to go out in those streets and find some more supply because it can't be you anymore. Just tiring. You know, you're frustrated. These crazy communication and this language style that they have, you know, um, you know, like they're above the BS. Like, no, you are the BS. <laughs> if you know what I mean, you are full of BS, you know, so you can't buy into anything that they're saying. It's not um, authentic. It's not genuine. You know, you will never um get them to do something for the um the reasons that are you know considered genuine you know you you know them spending time with the kid they are the kid is not the um the source of importance to them they're they are thinking about money you know it's not the kid they think about money so if they can't get you one way then they're going to get you another way they're going to try to set you up um, make you angry and, and, you know, cuss them out through a text message or something. That's why you have to um, gray, rock, gray rock and, you know, communicate with them in a way to let them know that you understand. You don't have to respond to every little single crazy emotional based thing they feel. Just res just pick out like two or three things and say, I'm not going back and forth with you. You know, um, we yeah, you're right. We're supposed to parent together, you know. And I'm doing my part. You know, you just have to do yours. Just let them know. I know what you're doing, you know, but you don't have to go into detail. You didn't do this. You dropped the kid off late. They, you know, they're always dirty or, you know, this or that. And, you know, every little thing, you know, you don't have to, you know, address that because, you know, you can address that with your attorney. But just let them know that I'm doing my part, you know, and I, I wish you would do yours, you know, so they can start thinking like, dang, what, you know. They, it's going to drive them nuts anyway. You know, their minds are always running, constantly running. You know, they, they, they live in a, um, you know, a constant state of hell, a misery anyway, you know, so you don't have to give them much. They already know what they're doing anyways, you know, but the language, like I said, is, um, is very different and you have to read between the lines of the BS, you know, um, constantly have your thinking cap on when you communicate with them. And I know that, you know, since things are the way they are now with the resources that survivors have out here in this community and whatnot, I know narcissists are getting more frustrated because they're not getting the supply. They're not getting the, um, you know, they're not able to rile you up and make you, you know, look absolutely crazy by being anger and provoking all this anger and things to you because everybody is, is getting it, you know, they're, they're learning how to deal with these um, toxic individuals. So it's definitely, um, you know, it's definitely a blessing just um, having all these resources out here as far as in the community. But, you know, you, you just got to understand um, that they are professional con artists. Everything with them is not the it's they're not going to make it clear for you you know because they're not genuine you know so you can't expect them to do something for a, a genuine reason it's always a, a, a agenda you know so yeah um yeah that's what i wanted to um, talk about this video guys um just um yeah guys turn on your notification because i know that helps um youtube you know um let you guys know when i do um upload a video and um 
just subscribe and share these videos if they're um helpful and i know they can help people you know i t talk a lot about a lot of things i, I run my mouth a little bit <laughs> i talk about um parenting because i know it's hard when little kids are involved it's really really hard i've been doing this for a long time now um in the legal system and i'm you know i'm close to the end of you know which means my my kid will be aging out soon so it's just um I learned a lot along the way so i like helping people guys and um yeah, just um, subscribe and comment, guys. Tell me what you think about this video, guys, and I will talk to you guys soon.